This is the legendary MSS sleep system developed for the United States military in the late 1980s. I'm gonna unpack it, put it together. I'm also gonna share some valuable tips and tricks that I've learned over the years that'll make your time in the field a lot more comfortable. Officially, this system comes with four pieces. It's got the carrying bag, intermediate bag, patrol bag, and the bivy bag. Got everything here, let's see how much it weighs. We're coming in at eight pounds, 0.13 ounces. Eight pounds is a lot of weight to be carrying, but you need to be warm when you're out there and dry. It's crucial. Good night's sleep is everything. That's your morale, your energy. Very important. Though it's heavy, but it's worth it. First thing I do is I get rid of this bag that it comes in. If you know me, you know that I hate stuff sacks. So let's get everything out. Okay, getting rid of the stuff sack, we're saving ourselves about eight ounces. Now the stuff sack obviously works. It depends on how you're gonna be deploying it, how you're gonna be carrying it. I pack my stuff inside of waterproof dry bags. First up, we've got the patrol bag. I call it the jungle bag. Excellent quality. Real lightweight, you can use these all summer. What I love about this whole system are the zippers. Okay, these fat YKKs. These are really important for colder times when you've got thick gloves on. You'll see that both the bags have snaps up and down where the zipper is. That's how we're gonna put these two pieces together to ultimately form our full MSS sleep system. Up top around the hood, it's got this shock cord. Okay, so it's basically a draw cord. You can cinch this down, pack yourself in there real tight. Both these bags are 100% synthetic material. The lining, the outer is all nylon. Synthetic is incredible for cold, damp weather. Because if you've run down before, you know that down gets compromised. Basically becomes useless because of the humidity, the wetness in the air. You'll end up freezing your ass off. All synthetic. Next up, we've got the intermediate bag. It's rated down to negative 10 on its own. What I love about this are these baffles that are sewn in around your neck. So you basically cocoon yourself in there. That's trapping all that warm air inside. It's got the drawstrings up top around the hood. So you can cinch those down, squish yourself in there. Again, we've got the heavy duty YKK zippers, making it easy to pull, get in and out of. And the last part of the system is the famous Gore-Tex bivy. This thing is known worldwide as being one of the toughest bivvies ever made. Super thick, reliable. I've used this in puddles, holds up. Here you can see it's got the YKK heavy duty zippers. It's also got the snaps, so you can integrate it into the full system. I always tell people that if you can only afford one part of the system, get yourself the Gore-Tex bivy bag. I call it the condom. You can use this all summer long, sleep just in this, perfect. Let's put the system together. First thing I do is I take the patrol bag, I unzip it all the way. Okay, I'll set that to the side. I'll come back here with my intermediate bag and I will zip it all the way up to the top. Now the intermediate bag goes inside of the troll bag. I simply grab it at the bottom, stuff it down. Try and keep everything lined up. And you'll have something that looks like that. Now I take the intermediate bag and I rotate it so that zipper is facing straight up, I'm trying to line it with the zipper of the patrol bag. I now have both bags cocooned together, starting at the bottom where the zippers are. You'll see inside there's a snap here on the patrol bag, and on the outside there's a snap here on the intermediate. Simply join those together and work your way up. to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you wanna see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube, helps out the channel, helps me out, so I appreciate it. Now that the two bags are joined together, I'll come to the intermediate bag, I'll unzip it about halfway down. Next, I come to the patrol bag, I'll zip that up, also about halfway. I grab my bivy bag, I also unzip that, about halfway. I come to the bottom of both my bags, grab them, and start stuffing them in, I rotate the bivy bag so the zipper's up, and then I get inside and try and line up the zippers here. Come down to the bottom, and we'll start snapping in again. So we're all buttoned up, come to the bottom of the um, bivy, and I'll bring up that zipper, same about halfway. So, it's gonna look like this. 
I'm simply attaching the button snaps together. Well, this one doesn't want to go, it's being ornery. And that's where our first little trick and tip comes in. Grab your chapstick or whatever lubricant you have on you, like Vaseline, KY jelly maybe. Come to the bowl of the snap, okay? Just put a little bit in there. Come back to your male side. You see, that'll go right together. That lubes it up, easy peasy. Another place you can use this chapstick trick is on the zipper itself. You can apply just a little bit up the zipper and you'll see that'll lube it. So if you've got a rough zipper, just put a little bit. Now be careful with this chapstick. This flavor is strawberry. So in a non-permissive environment, this isn't gonna work because you could smell this. You're gonna wanna just use plain Vaseline, but any kind of a lubricant's gonna help glide that zipper. Now this system in this configuration where you've got the patrol bag connected to the intermediate bag inside the Gore-Tex bivy, it's claimed to go down to negative 30. I've been in it down into the zeros, no problem. But I wear military underwear, heavy wool socks, etc. If you want to see the video about that, my cold weather sleep system, check it out, it's going to be here. When you're looking for a pillow, just grab your stuff sack. This should carry your spare socks, underwear. Perfect. One of my favorite parts about this MSS system is the attention to detail and the thought that went into it. If you look here along the zippers, they've got these two inch wide nylon shelves or ridges that they've built in. That's so that way the zipper doesn't get stuck as you're pulling it up, right? You know how on a sleeping bag, you go to pull that zipper up, it gets stuck on the nylon, you're trapped in there. Well, that's a great feature that they added in on both these bags. I always keep my headlight inside my sleeping bag with me. That way if I have to get up during the middle of the night, I've got light. And this is the best tip and trick of all that I can share with you. A Nalgene water bottle as your porta potty. I keep this inside my bag. That way when I'm sleeping, if I gotta go number one, here we go. Be sure to mark it with some sort of an X so that way you know that it's dirty. A good night's sleep is precious. The system is heavy. It's coming in around nine pounds. As my friends in the military say, you're gonna carry that weight. Is this worth it? Hell yes, it's worth it. I think it's bulletproof. I trust it. I highly recommend it. 